I need you to help me make a fake movie. You came to the right place. You want to set up a movie in a week. You want to lie to Hollywood, a time where everybody lies for a living. Then you're going to sneak 007 over here into a country that wants CIA blood on their breakfast cereal. And you're going to walk the Brady Bunch out of the most watched city in the world. Right. Tony Mendes is a guy who works doing exfiltrations, getting people out of places safely. Six of them went out a back exit. If we're going to go, then we need to go now. Brits turned them away, Kiwis turned them away, Canadians took them in. We've got revolutionary guards going door to door. These people die, they die badly. I knew immediately that they were there, but we kept that fact very secret because we didn't want the Iranians to know that there were six more American diplomats whom they hadn't taken. The dilemma that the CIA had was coming up with a plausible plot to get them out. What we like for this are bicycles. Deliver the six bikes, provide them with maps to the Turkish border. Or you could just send in training wheels and meet them at the border with Gatorade. Everything that they were coming up with, you were able to poke holes in it. It's going to take a miracle to get them out. You have a better plan? Funny man. What are we watching? I got an idea. They're a Canadian film crew for a science fiction movie. I fly into Tehran. We all fly out together as a film crew. Remind me who you are again? Tony Mendez came up with this crazy plan. I want to set up a production company and build a cover around making a movie. You can't build cover stories around a movie that doesn't exist. The man that I'm playing, John Chambers, is a very famous makeup artist. He was the first makeup artist to win the Academy Award, and he was working for the CIA. You need a script? Argo, science fantasy adventure. Moonscape, Mars, deserts. They need an exotic location to shoot. You need a producer. He's a film producer, and he is at first skeptical about the possibility of this event working at all. We did suicide missions in the Army that had better odds than this. And then he gets excited about us. He gets involved. If I'm doing a fake movie, it's going to be a fake hit. You wouldn't imagine someone would use that idea as a cover because it was so outrageous. You don't have a better bad idea than this? This is the best bad idea we have, sir, by far. The United States government has just sanctioned your science fiction movie. He came and proposed what would happen with the rescue mission. And of course, I considered it very carefully, and I approved it. Copy DS. Confirm the tickets. Go. Because you're dialing with them. We're kind of staying in here longer. The way I approached it was to say, look, everything's just got to be real. The first way we'd go is this, this way. I really wanted to root the audience in the period. My name is Tony Mendez. This is what I do. I get people out, and I've never left anyone behind. What's really great about Argo is that Although it's steeped in espionage and bureaucracy at the highest level, truly, when you get down to it, it's about the human experience and what lengths people will go to save the lives of others. Tell me who you are. Mike McEwen, cameraman. Robert Baker, director. Timothy Harris, location manager. Marianne Boyd, screenwriter. Rachel DeWart, production designer. Sean Massad, associate producer. All right, let's go make a movie. It's an escape story. It's a rescue story. The stakes couldn't be higher. They're going to try to break you. What's your middle name? What's your middle name? Shoot him. He's an American spy. You have this explosive world event. People's lives are hanging in the balance, and the clock is ticking. If it wasn't based on a true story, you could never make the movie. But the fact that it is true is what makes it really interesting. Incredible true story. Rated R in theaters October 12th.